This, my friends, is a tutorial about how to do your job showcase. Your job showcase is going to be the one career after doing this career project that you decide on that's going to be your number one choice for potentially your future, about what you want to be when you grow up. You are going to be using this career in a slide um, showcase as well as you're going to be using that career on your budget project that will come after we are com have completed this um, career project. So if you look on the slide, your sh job showcase is going to include your job and several other things. It's going to highlight your chosen career by designing a fun, creative Google slide. And this tutorial is going to teach you some little tricks about how to do that because you will be starting with a blank page. Now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna add a sassy background. So in my position, I'm going to make a teacher slide for us today. And to choose a sassy background, it says click on background, choose color or image. Let's go to our blank page. This is your blank canvas. So in order to choose a background for here, you're going to go up to here where it says change background. When you click on change background, you could use a color. Um, you could use a gradient of a color or a solid color, but we're going to choose an image. Now I'm going to choose, if you can see here, I was cho choosing office background. So if you are, your job is going to be working in an office, you may want to choose an office background or like an office background like this, an office background. Um, look for different things. I'm going to choose classroom. Classroom background. All right. So there are a number of different classrooms and you can keep scrolling. If you don't find something you like, you can do a Google image. Um, search on a separate tab and save it as a, um, a picture. But for the easiest way to do it is to choose a backroom, um, background classroom right here. I'm going to choose this image. So I can see it in my background and here is my classroom. So now I'm going to go back to my list. I've added a background. What am I doing next? I'm going to include a sassy title. You can use fonts, fancy fonts, word art, or I like the um, actual website textgiraffe.com. If I go in here, I want to add a sassy title. So now I could do that by inserting, I could insert word art. Okay, that's one way I could um, add this, and then I could change its color, I can change its font. I can decide that I want to fill it with some different color, like purple. I can add a border color. Maybe I want it to be a darker purple. Um, I can thicken that line. Um, I can do all sorts of things. So word art is one way you can do a um, title. Another way you can do a title is you can um, insert a text box. I could insert a text box, and I could type the word teacher. I can, um, now I can choose a different font. Maybe I can do this font. I can fold it. I can make it bigger. I can choose its color. Um, I can do a font that way. Or I can go to this site. I happen to love Text Giraffe. You can type in your title here, teacher, go. And I'm going to have all sorts of ways that I can look at teacher for my title. And I can go to lots of different things. And I'm going to say that I'm going to choose this one right here. I click on it once. I right click copy image. And I can put it in my career project, which I have no idea where my career project actually is at this point. Where is my career project? No, 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 no. Oh, I know why, because I didn't open a new tab. I got to go backspace, backspace, backspace. So I'm back on my career exploration. I can do a right click to paste in, and here is my title for teacher. So there's three different ways to do a sassy title. Okay, there's our sassy title. The next thing is to add yourself as a character or a person doing that job. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do insert, you can do image, and then you can do search the web. Up here, I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in teacher clip art. And I can choose a person that is a teacher and a clip art. It doesn't have to look like me. Um, so it could just be about anything. There's not a lot of choices here. Um, let's see, for argument's sake, I'm going to choose, where's that 
little guy that was, let's just choose him. Okay. All right. That is one way that I could do it. Now, one thing that I noticed on this is it has a background and I don't really want a background on mine. I'm going to actually copy this. I'm going to go into a new tab to the site called remove background and I'm going to control V in here. It might not let me do it. I'm going to have to go back to, well, might not let me do this. I don't want to take too much time up with this tutorial. Um, so I can remove the background with this guy if I, I don't know, it's not letting me do it right now. So I can just go into upload image. I can save the image and put it in my pictures folder. Um, but I should be able to just control V. Let's try one more time. I'm going to go to him. I'm going to press control C. I'm going to go to image and go to control V. It's not going to let me do it right now. But in a normal setting, I can remove this background. I could actually save him as a picture and then bring it in that way. Okay, for right now, we're not going to do that. Another way is if you do Bitmoji, if you have a Bitmoji on your phone, you can have a Google extension. You just go to um, a new tab and you type in um, Google extensions and you can type in Bitmoji. Bitmoji and you can enter and if you already have a Bitmoji made somewhere else then you can add it to your um, you can add it to this so I'm going to actually add a Bitmoji because that's how I do things in class um, I lost my career project here it is so I go up to my Bitmoji and I'm just going to um, add teacher standing oh look here's a teacher I'm going to do this one I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do right click, copy image, and paste because this is my life today doing this tutorial. Now I have something in the picture I don't want. I'm going to double click on it. That gives me these black lines and I can actually cut it so I don't have that word anymore. Click outside of the screen. So there is me as a teacher. All right, our next thing. We are going to add pictures that go along with your chosen job. So in this one, I'm going to actually move this teacher over here. I'm going to put a shelf because I'm going to put a, a bunch of things or I could actually put some things on this desk. So what are some things that a uh, teacher would use in their job? A book. I'm going to go into insert image, search the web, and I'm going to type in book transparent. That means it's going to come up and there's going to be a book that let's see if this one is transparent. It should have a book with no background. I could have also searched for a teacher with no background. So I'll put a book on the desk. That's something a teacher would use. What else would a teacher use? I'm going to do insert image, search the web. I'm going to type in laptop transparent. And I'm going to put in this one. I'm going to put that on my desk. I'm going to size it down by dragging and putting it there. I'm going to do Apple because all teachers love an Apple. I'm going to do insert image and I'm going to search the web and then change this to Apple transparency. What teacher doesn't love an Apple? Apple for, oh, and see that one wasn't transparent. Let's try another one. Let's see, insert image, search the web. Um, let's try this one. That one is transparent. Again, if I could copy that and save it, I could go to remove background. All right, so that's one thing I'm going to do is add some pictures around the room of things with the teacher. I can add things in if I wanna add a shelf. I can do add image, search the web. I'm gonna do shelf, transparent. And I can do a shelf like this to put in my room. I can make it a little bit longer. I can make it a little bit shorter. I can make it less narrow. And then I can actually put objects on the shelf, okay? Um, if I need to order my objects, let's say I move this over here. Uh-oh, it's not showing up because I need to make it so it's on top. You can cut your object, then paste your object. It will now be newer than the bookcase, and you can move it up to the bookcase. Another thing you can do is you can go right-click it, and you can choose order. And you can send it behind something or bring it to the front, bring it to the front based on what you need something to be in front of. 
So that's how you would add a shelf. You can add different things around the room. If you wanted to add a painting, you could add a painting. You could add a text box. Let's say you wanted to write something down. Um, uh, well, we're going to get to that in another step. Let's go back to our list. Annual salary. So I need to have that somewhere on my page. What I'm going to do, I'm going to choose this title. So I'm not going to delete my other titles because I don't really need them. But I'm going to use this text box. I'm going to type in annual salary. So I'm going to double click, click, triple click on this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. All right. And I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to put um, education education needed because that is the next thing on my list it says what's your education required so I happen to know that the education required for being a teacher is a bachelor's degree and if I need to know the annual salary of a teacher I'm going to remember that when I went back to my job remember because my number one job should be here a teacher or it should be on the slide um, depending on what job I chose to do my um, presentation. I'm going to go to this website here to find teacher. And I'm going to choose um, teacher. And now I can see that the average job is $59,000 a year. That sounds a lot high. That's not where you start. So average, the median pay would be in the middle. It means they take the high and the low and divide it and so that you get to the the average job in the middle. So this is not what you would start out for a teacher. I would say you'd start out about $42,000 as a teacher, going up to about $68,000 as a teacher. So I'm going to put this in, though, because it is the average. 59,420. 59,420. Dollar sign, 59,420. And I might want to make these a different font so it's more readable. I'm going to just choose Arial. I'm going to choose Arial for this as well because it's a little bit more readable. Okay, so let's go back to our list. I need education required, annual salary. I got it. I've got my pictures. I've got my character, my sassy title, my sassy background. Now I'm going to add a visual, audio, or video for my common job duties. So now what I could do here, I'm going to take out this teacher because it's annoying me. I'm going to move her over here. I could decide to add an audio. Um, and we, we can go over that in class, how you would do that. I could also search one of the um, sites with the videos. I could go on and search the site um, and see if I can find teacher. I can go on to this site, see if I can find teacher, and then I can embed a video. So let's see if I can type teacher and see if it pops up. So an elementary school teacher, this is a um, video. So I can get the video link and put it on my slide. I can also record something myself. I could video myself talking about a teacher, or I could speak into a um, speak into a audio. And one of those things to do is moat. So moat is how you can record. Let's just do that for a second. When I talked about Google extensions, you can go to Google extensions and you can go to the Chrome Web Store and you're gonna type in Moat. Moat is a recorder, when you click on that, I already have it on Chrome, but you would add it to your Chrome. So when you go to Moat, then here is Moat. I'm gonna allow my microphone and it's going to let me record. I am going to, I'm already in Google, so let's ask my account. Allow. Allow. All right. So there's my welcome. Now when I go back in, I should be able to do moat. All right. Click to start. Here I am making a video for this presentation. The job duties of a title, I mean of a teacher, would be um, eating lunch and crying themselves to sleep and waking up early in the morning and helping kids succeed. There's a lot of more things that teachers do, but you get the drift. And then I can hit stop. It's thinking, and then I can actually put this video somewhere on my slide. So I insert abracadabra. It is going to insert. Might take a second. Here it is. So here's my audio, and I can actually put it right on the wall, and I can add a text box here. So let's say I wanted to tell my teacher what it was. I can add a text box and say, click here for um, 
teacher job duties. And I can make it fancy if I want. But here's my, um, my audio. Easy as peasy. Let's take a look. Bonus fun links. So this is something that you see me do in my learning slides. All of the time, I add fun links. So I may want to add, actually, a fun link. Um, I might search YouTube, and I might search apple picking, or I might search how do they make apple juice, apple juice factory, and then I may link to this. So I might find something in um, YouTube videos, and I can search um, making apple juice, right? And then I can look at one of these. I want a shorter one. I would watch it to make sure it's clean and safe for school and appropriate for school. And then I could link it. I'm going to pause it because I haven't watched this yet. I can share it. Here's my link. I copy my link, and I go back to my careers. To add a video, you would go to insert. You could go to video. You're going to click the link, right click, paste, search. Here it is, select. And it will make a video right on your screen. Now, that's for putting a video on your screen, but I want to link this apple to the video. So I wouldn't do it that way. I would click on the, the apple. I would go up here to this little paper click that says link. I would right click the paste, the address for the video. And now this apple is linked to this video. I can delete this video because I don't need it. But if you wanted to put a video on there for someone to watch, you could do that. So this is the basics of, of a slide. Um, I would obviously make some more changes. I would add some more things. I could add a chair. I could add some things. But for your slide, your presentation slide, I am be going to be grading it based on your best effort and following directions. Your best effort means I look at it and I say, it took them more than 20 minutes to make. Okay? Uh, it probably took you more than an hour to make, to be frank with you. So that is the project, so I'm going to base it on your best effort. If I see that you're, it definitely wasn't your best effort, could there be mistakes? Yes. I don't expect you to know computers perfectly to do this beautifully, but I do expect to see your best effort. The second thing is following directions. I'm going to be looking that you added all of these things. So if I look at all of these things and I say, oh, you never put your annual salary or you never put a sassy title or you don't have a sassy background, that's going to be points off because those were part of the project requirements. Okay, so this is the beginnings of that slide. Again, you will be starting from a blank slide. You will, can go through this. You can watch this video. You can pause it along the way and do it step by step with me. And that should be able to get you to where you need to be. If you have any questions, Google chat your teacher, and I'm sure that she can help you or he. Um, that is the project tutorial. So don't forget. Um, you can rewatch this video. You can pause and then do it yourself. Pause and then do it yourself. Or you can go rogue and you can say, I'm starting with a blank screen and I know what I'm doing and I'm going to be creative. Do your thing. This is just how I did it. Okay? All right. Have a fantastic day.